There are a number of causes of lead poisoning. A major cause within the United States is paint. The problem we're dealing with is deciding who needs to be tested for lead poisoning. And the way that's done is by a blood test, which gives a result called a blood lead level. So we collected data from eight years of blood lead level tests, um, over a half a million kids. We analyzed that data very carefully to look for what things predict blood lead level best. We saw that a uh, percentage of old housing does so, the percentage of people who are poor, even up to 185% of the poverty level does so, people being uneducated does, and race, even controlling for everything else does. By predicting someone's risk, we can also say who most needs to be, have their blood tested. This uh, can create a situation where um, health departments can try to target their testing more effectively than ever. If you use census data about where the child lives, along with their race and Medicaid status, we can c create a prediction equation which is in fact considerably more accurate for determining who most needs blood lead testing. This prediction equation actually can result in significant cost savings. We can get more of the children identified who really need to be tested uh, and who have elevated blood lead level while performing fewer tests. If we use our equation and say that people who are on Medicaid do not need to be tested unless the equation says they do, we would have saved over a four-year period over 10,000 tests at the saving to the various health organizations in the state of over $300,000. And in a situation where state governments need to be very cost conscious, uh, this is a way to save money without losing effectiveness. Our data demonstrates that we actually get more of the high-risk kids um, while doing fewer tests than some other means.